Hello. Um, my name is Hilof Robert Mark, and uh, I'm a Liberian. I work for the National Union of Organizations of the Disabled, and I've been working with uh, the National Union for over 10 years now, and I have advice experience in working with people with disability and advocating as well. And besides, I'm a person with disability, and I am so glad uh, to be here. Oh, thank you, Mike. Um, uh, speaking to you is uh, I'm Boakai Abunyan Jr., and uh, I'm a Liberian, and I encountered my disability somewhere around the 80s, but I started being effective working within a disabled sector uh, in 2007, starting with the Young Voices, growing up to the National Union of the Organization of the Disabled, and finally uh, working with the Group of 77 Disabled Center. And I'm happy being with the project. Yes. Um... I'm, I'm, I'm so glad to talk about the uh, photo voice. And, uh, we started photo voice, uh, when we got information from our boss, Madam Naomi Harris, that, uh, Shoreen wanted to do a little project with us. And, uh, we were so excited about it. And, um, yeah, it was welcoming. We all welcomed the project and photo voice is uh, a new involving um, a program and uh, when it comes to persons with disability. And uh, it was so excited. We have some great experience, you know, uh, recruiting our participants for Photo Voice and especially doing our TOT training. It was very awesome. We have a varieties of people with disabilities from Mosserado County, and it was wonderful. We interacted with them, and they all uh, welcomed the project. They were excited to speak about the issues that they were going through, and yeah, it was so great. Yes, uh, my involvement with the Photo Voice uh, project it was so amazing. Even though it was uh, it was a kind of an adventure, the kind of a new project that I I was. Enter it into, and you know, as it was being told by us, by, um, by the, the late Naomi Harris, and uh, introduced us to Shereen. And it was a challenging uh, 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 project for the fact that uh, this fall within the heat of the Ebola virus, where, where people were quarantined and we needed to do this project. It was a very good project. And um, there are a lot of good stories that we have to share with you while during through the process. Thank you. Yes. Um, as part of uh, the research, I too was also a participant in the project. Uh, I had to give my own perspective of what I was going through uh, during the COVID pandemic. And uh, it was so exciting that, uh, you know, my story, I uh, was able to touch people out there. And uh, <clears throat> things that I went through, uh, I guess uh, most of those things uh, people are going to go through it around the world. But uh, from my own perspective, I think the way persons with disabilities were treated during the COVID in our country was so devastating. And we share our story because we want everyone to know what we were going through and how the COVID-19 impacted us negatively. Yes, uh, as, as Hedoff has said, um, the stories within this Photo Voice project, they are all real life stories. They are all stories that, that people actually go through. And you know, every information you see in the stories, they are all something reality. And, you know, and these are things, even myself, I participated in the sharing of my stories. And 
I, I show you that it is actually real. And uh, during the Ebola process, people with disability went through it a lot. And we were happy to share our stories with their with the project. And we are happy that you see the story and we share the story with you. And you, I guess you are understanding uh, what people with disability actually encounter during the time of pandemic and hardship. Yes. Yeah, so um, basically in Liberia, according to our 2008 population census, you know, persons with disability are 16% of our population and uh, this uh, number of people with disability feel numerous of challenges even before the COVID-19 and persons with disability in Liberia are, 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 are going through a lot of situations beside the issue of health you know, when it comes to jobs, when it comes to education and a lot of things. So uh, we would like to share a um, couple of stories um, with you uh, that we that we, we, we gathered through over the over the period. So that maybe you know exactly you know uh, everything I will capture during the COVID nineteen. So yes, and uh, um, as as we did a story, and um, but before I talk about this photo in here is that the photo was project actually capture people with disability from all categories. You know, as you may know, in Liberia we have the physically challenged, we have the visually impaired, we have the hard of hearing, and we have the people with mental disabilities. And you know, this photo was project capture the stories and feelings of everyone. And looking at these pictures on the, uh, on the, this picture where you see the little rising that cup and the, that is actually my experience. That is my, should I call it my first experience? This is my first experience during the Ebola process and the, where I was left with nothing to eat. We were quarantined. We were not allowed to go anywhere. And this was my last hope when my wife told me that, Daddy, there is nothing left to eat. And she emptied the bag and just emptied this little rice in the cup. Can you imagine a family man has just this little rice to eat? Just put me in your shoe, and And it was so pathetic. And there are a lot of touching stories. And know that people with disability encounter during the heat of the Ebola. I think with this, Michael Lee has more to say. Yes, uh, Baka just shared his story. And I would like to share my own story too, you know, as to what I went through to the COVID. Um, uh, what you see here is the door of opportunity that was shut before, um, before me. And, uh, during the COVID-19. And during the COVID, there was a lockdown in Liberia. We were uh, told not to go out. We couldn't go to work. We couldn't go to school. And, you know, we just couldn't go out there as we used to, to find ends meet, you know. And and it was so bad for us. For me, I, I, was, I, I was living to a place where I have to you know walk far distance so because of the COVID-19 I couldn't get to the road and uh, I couldn't find food to eat you know so easily so it was so bad for me and I just couldn't uh, um, I just didn't know where to turn but uh, um, as God could have it one way or the other we were able to survive we were able to you know other families and friends came around and stretch hands out to us. Yes. So this is this this is the you know one part I want to share with you. This is Rose. She just uh shared her story during the lockdown. You know, uh, people were wearing masks, and it was difficult uh, for a person, you know, uh, hearing uh, impairment. Yeah, people with hearing impairment, they really didn't understood some of these information that were being placed out. 
And, uh, you know, there was so the issue of information dissemination was a problem. Uh, I decided to be a part of this project. Uh, you know, it was so wonderful and our experience was quite interesting because it was the first time um, going through such a project and our experience was so amazing. You know, having different uh, persons with disability participate in sending a story and we had to compile them together and, uh, you know, have a final uh, 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 copy of, 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 our, of our writings, you know. So it was it was so good. And uh, we hope and pray that we have um, kind of experience like this in times to come. And as people view these stories out there, uh, we hope and that, that there will also be a need, you know, for them to support this project, uh, you know, so that we go more, more and more to see what's uh, going on with persons with disabilities in Liberia. Even in the rural area, you know, it's my prayer that we extend into the counties because uh, the projects were only focused on Maserado. And challenges in the counties uh, are quite huge, the Maserado counties. So we'll be able to know, uh, yeah, you know, what's unfolding in the counties uh, because in Maserado, we just have a minute portion of, of persons with disability. A large number of persons with disability are out there in the county. So we're hoping to reach out to them. Yes, uh, thank you. Um, thank you, Head of. Um, this project was actually amazing. It is, um, it is a very good project that was implemented. And um, we, we, we actually land on this project. And uh, what we understood from the project is that the funding for the project was not much. That is why it did not cover the entire uh, country. And we are hoping that additional funding be made available for this project so that it can cover many parts of Liberia because there are stories, there are a lot of touching stories from people with disabilities in Liberia that should be shared. And, and we ask for more collaborations and uh, where we will be able to implement these projects in another phase where many people from the rural area will participate in this project and their stories uh, will be shared with, with, with the donor. We want to say thank you for providing this form, uh, for making the voice of people with disabilities in Liberia through this photo bus project to be heard. So with this, we want to say thank you and Barkaj Avignon Junior once again, uh, a researchers and, uh, and administrators and a uh, lot of skills. Thank yeah, you. Thank you again. My name is Hilof. And yes, I'm a researcher and administrator. And I also did database. Yeah. So I'm so excited. Uh, to speak yes, to let me not forget. I also <laughs> did database. And I did advocacy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, this is Salma Karumi from Bangladesh. I uh, had been working as a research assistant at Black James P. Gandhi School of Public Health, Black University. Currently, I'm working as a lecturer at um, Department of Anthropology, Kumila University, Bangladesh. Um, I did my graduation from Anthropology Department, so I have a um, qualitative background. Uh, when I worked um, as a researcher at Black JKJ Speech, uh, my supervisor had engaged me with this photo project and uh, this was my first engagement with this project. Um, I was so excited to um, work in this project and um, I, uh, I, I had uh, um, now conducted uh, two projects with um, related to persons with disabilities uh, previously um, uh, and uh, and I was, uh, I'm, uh, I, I believe I have learned a lot of things from this project. Um, around 14% uh, of the total population um, are living with uh, different types of disabilities in Bangladesh. And still there is minimal research on their needs uh, in Bangladesh perspective. And um, this photo study was conducted in th uh, three districts in Bangladesh, including Dhaka district, Kuna district, and uh, Silet district. Um, and some of our uh, co-researchers uh, from Bangladesh um, are Ashakul Alom, 
মারজানা বিনতে ফরহাদ এন্ড সময় চৌধুরী বেসিক্যালি উই ট্রাই টু রিক্রুট দা রেসপন্ডেন্টস ফ্রম ডিফারেন্ট সোশ্যাল ডেমোগ্রাফিক ক্যারেক্টারিস্টিক্স বেসড অন দেয়ার এডুকেশনাল কোয়ালিফিকেশনস জেন্ডার দেয়ার রিলিজিয়ন অ্যান্ড ডিফারেন্ট টাইপস অফ ডিজাবিলিটি Uh, here is another interesting story to share with you about uh, stigma. Um, one of our uh, female study participants, uh, Halima Akhtar from Dhaka, shared her experiences like that during the initial phase of COVID-19. They used to face many negative comments from the general people. The general people uh, sometimes um, uh, told uh, them their wheelchairs can increase the infection of um, COVID-19. so uh, they advised uh, her to uh, stay away um, her wheelchair from them uh, when he heard this he felt very sad and uh, felt depressed and finally uh, her coping strategy was to stop mixing uh, with them uh, one of our study participants um, uh, who was uh, delwar hosain from khulna bangladesh he shared um, his experiences uh, like that um, uh he said it is our duty to keep the base of the tree clean and give it a chance to grow so uh, as like as it is the responsibility of our society and family to support the disabled people so that they can lead a healthier and better life he shared his experiences like that with uh, this with capturing this photo thank you all for hearing me and hopefully uh, this study will add some new dimensions um in the uh, study of persons with disabilities i believe